hi welcome again in this video we are going to work on the delete button how we can delete our data in the same page using model window so let's build uh, our button first if I go to the code and I just close everything and start again you know we have our category here inside our category we have our button right there so I will make the delete as a button first we have our button then we have the text of delete it has a class of btn 10 danger let's say it is a danger button as you can see now it is a button i want this to be open a model window as well so i will come there and say the same thing that we have here for the edit button we have the same thing here just this one should open the delete model window now we don't have that model window this refer to the idea of the delete so i'll come down here and duplicate this model window and change the edit to delete now if i uh, click on that it should open this window if i come and refresh the page delete yes it is opening the window but in uh, i think we have a uh, read model window as well in admin LTE let me show you if I come and open admin LTE in our element model we have a read one here we have uh, the default one here is the primary one if I click here let's see what they have I come to the model as you can see they have a class here the class of model danger if i add this class our model window should uh, change to the da danger as well so far it is fine but uh, let me add the class here model danger if i come here this time refresh our page as you can see it changed to red and the design is also changed a little and we do need the form as well inside this so we come here and delete our form as you know we don't need to include the form but we need the the field id here well, and I, I will explain now why we need the the hidden field for the category id here because we are not going to use the the standard level way of deleting something we are going to use the model window and something like that and we need the method field as well we need the csra field as well do not delete these things we need them and it is now turned to the to read and we can change the title as well change the title to delete confirmation it this is fine if i give this uh, another class from bootstrap text center it should show as text in the center of the page if i refresh yeah like this delete confirmation we have save and close let me customize it a bit first of all we need a paragraph here with a text of center are you sure you want to delete this then we need a confirmation of yes delete for the close one no cancel something like that and the primary should be to warning the default button we can just change it to success and uh, it should show a green button for us now if i press on the delete now we have our confirmation are you sure do you want to de delete this cancel will cancel it and yes it will send us to the test page as you know we do not have a test page here it gives a give us an error so let us solve the route prob the route first here is our route you know it is going to send us to the update because we copied the same thing but for our delete we need to send it to category dot this tray this is built in and in laravel we know it is going to send us to destroy if you have watched the previous video we know that they, we are using the uh, resource route here the resource that will automatically add the destroy function for us so let's go to our application first 
here if I open PowerShell here I can just run the command of PHP artisan route list now in the route list it will show the list of the route for us and with all the methods as well as you uh, as you know we have the action the method is here in the method we are going to use the destroy so the name should be destroy category that destroy the method is going to be delete so the method field should be delete for the destroy as well as we can use patch as well it is something that you can use the delete and the destroy both of them so here is the category is going to send as here instead of uh, category ID we are using we are just sending test so that it should not fail that so you can send anything we are not sending the category ID here so this is what we want category that destroy it will call the destroy function and the method for that form should be delete because we are going to use the delete so we come back here and we change the patch to delete first this is fine now this is destroy this is test this is fine for now it will send us to the destroy function here if I come to the controller category controller the destroy function come up here category controller come down we have a destroy function here so let's say that we really come here I can just echo something like delete data save it come here refresh the page let's say delete this one yes okay delete data it is going to send us here this time we don't need to do anything so as you know that when I click on the delete button it how it is going to delete the same data here is what we are going to do I say when someone click on this it should send the ID of the same category to this model window to this model window and that cat category ID should be put in the hidden field that's why we have a category ID of hidden field here with an ID of cat1 in J we, we do this with JavaScript uh, like the same with the thing we did in the previous previous video we edit the category and for the delete as, as well we do the same thing so our uh, script are written in our master page it is not a the good way to write it here but for this video we are writing it here but for your production of course you separate your JavaScript in another file I come here and say if someone click or if the delete model show up we don't need these things because we copy that okay when someone click on the delete model window just take the button data here first we target the button then we take the data of that button that button must have a custom attribute of data cat id take that one put it in the cat id here then we write a variable for this now we change this to model this means this model the same model window and then we do need title again for this and description and then we go and search inside model body something with a ID of cat ID we have an input with cat ID and then change the value to cat ID if I come here we have our cat ID here and the value is now it is uh, equal to empty then it will change that whatever is written in the button as you know our button do not have any uh, cat ID data cat ID here we must have the same thing here I'll save this and now uh, we just go here and refresh the page this time if I inspect element check the button we have the ID of cut ID here and the same thing for the next button we have cut ID here if I delete this one we have the category ID in this model window as well as you know here is the delete method here is the token inside the model body we have the category ID with value of 6 so this time if I click this one it will send the category ID and uh, the controller as well this category ID okay I will save this part as well and I will come here if I just show it 
we are going to use request class here and put it as request if I just display the ID DD request category ID this is the name of the field refresh the page and delete yes this is going to send the for this is category 4 the ID is 4 now we have the category ID here what I'm going to do is just uh, find search on database and delete that category then we return back this is what we are going to do the last first I must create a variable here it is equal to category find or fail then I use the request category ID here it is going to find the category we want and then we can use the delete function over category variable like this it should delete the category and redirect us back to the same page if I come back here refresh the page now let's delete the swimming and training yes delete yeah it is delete now if I refresh the page now we don't see that let's delete web design as well yes this web design is also delete we don't have any flash notification or something like that but you can make that customize it to show as a, flash, a notification or uh, any thing that proves that some that we delete the data that's it for the delete button and in the next video if you want to watch we will just customize the design of this a bit and we will make it a bit beautiful thank you for watching